Growing up at Boys Latin, my sophomore year, I was told I was probably too small to play varsity, which was the right move. So I think that was where it kind of all started. I knew I, I was going to be able to play Division One, but even coaches that were coaching the varsity at that time knew that I needed more time to develop. And so I played JV my sophomore year and then transitioned into the summer. And I think that's really when I shot up. And that's when Coach Toomey was finally able to take a look at me. He's a competitor. And uh, that's the first thing that we probably noticed watching him play is his intelligence with the ball and his stick and just how much he loves to play the game. He very rarely makes a bad decision on the field. And that's one thing that you notice about him, whether or not he's a 5'8 kid or a 6'2, 6'3 kid. Trying to prove people wrong, I guess, was always part of it. But I was never worried about the news or the media or what, what other people were saying. I just wanted to win. Pat Spencer had a great year for us as a freshman. He uh, culminated the year with Offensive Player of the Year and Rookie of the Year for us. His work ethic is unmatched. I mean, he comes out to practice and competes every single day, day in, day out. And his just lacrosse IQ and just understanding of the game is something that I've been very fortunate to be able to kind of be around the past two years or so because being able to come out here and play with Pat, who in my opinion is the best player in the country, it's, it's pretty great. And he can come here at 11.30 a.m., pick up a lacrosse stick and be the best player on the field, and then go and shoot hoops at 5.30 p.m. the same day and be the best player on the court. So it's pretty insane. I've played them both my whole life, and honestly, I think it made such a difference in terms of just being a natural athlete versus playing just one sport and, and being stuck in lacrosse. I still try to play as much as I can. I think, honestly, I think it really does convert over to seeing the field and, and the spacing and understanding the game. I wouldn't have been able to play basketball at the level I would have wanted to play at. And so lacrosse was always the focus for me. He's a great guy, super humble, nicest guy you'll ever meet. It's been a lot of fun to play with him, and it's been even better getting to know him as a person and being his friend. His confidence grew off the field in terms of being able to kind of talk to the guys and make sure that they're handling different situations with composure, the same composure that he has. I really enjoyed listening to Pat speak in some of those situations. Uh, he's got a lot to say. He's a sophomore and those moments are usually for your juniors and seniors, but I think Pat was growing with confidence and still continues to grow with that confidence. Pat's always trying to get to his strength and use those to his advantage and I mean that obviously shows last year he had a great year and then off the field just continuing to do the right things, always goes to class, does his homework, everything, so just trying to emulate that myself. My individual goals are right under the team goals, I don't have anything set for myself personally. It's more so that I'm going to try to do whatever I can to help this team win. If that means five goals then I'll do it, if, if it means no goals then, then so be it.